Welcome back to Solar Cooker Week. We are here actually in my backyard, Carrie's in my backyard, and we are going to be talking today about a solar collector, a solar cooker called the Eagle. The whole idea around the Eagle is that it's supposed to be very simple for people in America because what it does is our sheets of paper in the U.S. are 8.5 by 11, where in Europe they're a different measurement. Um, so it's supposed to be very simple to make this just using the outline of a piece of paper. What I have for this, obviously you see me holding something here, this is a little flat screwdriver um, and I'm going to use this for scoring the material. This is a razor blade knife, a roll of duct tape, yes maybe not 100% environmentally friendly but very very useful, and a tape measure. There will be a couple places in this project that will need to use the tape measure. And then we have this material. This is a throwaway from a printing company. Now you can probably go to any printing company in a city with more than, let's say, I don't know, 50,000 people, and they probably will have a sheet like this. They'll probably have one that they misprinted or that they you know, just weren't able to use. And you'd probably be able to get it for free. It's going to take two sheets of this size to make what we need because we need basically 10 pieces that are 8.5 by 11, and then we'll cut those down. And then the other thing we have, a cutting surface. Hello. That's it. That's basically everything we need for this project. It's 35 inches by something, but it'll make eight uh, sheets that are 8.5 by 11. And you'll see me doing that, and then I'll be back in just a second. probably tell now that I'm in different clothes and <laughs> that's because we had to run actually when I was doing this the day before. So now I'm back and ready to wrap this up. It took me about 20 minutes to cut all of these out and I now have 10 of these sheets that are 8.5 inches by 11 inches which works really well for us who are used to measuring things in inches. Now what I've got to do is just follow my instructions. Very very simple as far as getting these things cut down. It's a little cooler tonight and I'm absolutely getting chewed by mosquitoes. I just got bit I think like about eight times in about four minutes. So we're going to do the rest of this project inside. One thing you may also find helpful is a board, something with a straight edge on it so that you can actually cut against it. The board works really well for folding against. And once again, be very careful while you're doing this because you can get little slivers of the metal in you. Okay, well I've messed up again. On the counter you can see I've got this panel that I cut for this side. And I cut the other side the same way. Well, I should have cut it the other direction so that it would have been correct if I had flipped it this way and then cut it the other way. I really could save myself a whole lot of time if I measured uh, twice and cut once, as my dad used to teach me. Thanks, Dad. Um, yeah. So we also have the same challenge on cutting one piece um, for this side. Now it ends up, I mean, both sides end up being the right size here kind of challenge over here. So what I'm going to really do instead of remaking those pieces is I'm actually just going to cover them in foil just like you would do if you were using just regular cardboard. I don't have to remake them that way. This little crack right here, that's going to be fixed with duct tape. Just wearing over and over and over back and forth with a razor blade, back and forth. Uh, I am through them now. So you're getting blinded by this uh, panel and how much light it gives off, which is awesome. It, I mean, it shows that it will actually put off a great reflection when the sun uh, shines on it. Now we have all of the pieces we need for making our Eagle solar cooker. I'm going to have to cover this one in aluminum foil and I'm going to have to cover this one in aluminum foil. Alright, so this is just some old aluminum foil that we have from something we cook. I don't even know what it's from, but I'm just going to lay it out here over the top of this. There's one of our pieces all covered. 
Now, it's going to be better if we can smooth it out a little bit because the reflective surface will be a little bit better, but on the other hand, I'm putting fingerprints all over it, which is making the reflective surface not as good. So, there we have a perfectly reflective piece, almost. And now for the eighth wonder of the universe, the magic of duct tape. Taped all of these seams so that they'll hold together. I think that's it. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. So, I'm going to tip this forward here so you can actually see it. Our solar cooker, our Eagle solar cooker, and thanks to Amanda for inventing this Eagle solar cooker, it was relatively simple. And I'm going to go grab a pot and we can see what that looks like. In all of the instructions I've read about solar cookers, they tell you, find a cooking vessel. Make sure you've got a good cooking vessel. And I'm like, a pot? Okay, I'll, I'll find a good pot. Well, as you saw in another video, we went to Goodwill and we found some old stuff and some old pots. This is actually an old peanut butter jar that we painted black and then we scraped the side of it so that we can actually see inside, hopefully that's the idea, see inside when it's boiling so that we can tell if the water is actually boiling or not just our little litmus test to see if the thing actually works. So that's what we use. So as I understand it, here's how this works. You take the jar or the cooking vessel and you take some sort of wire frame and put it inside of a cooking bag. Now this is just a standard oven cooking bag. Apparently there's other kinds of bags you can use, but these were cheap and easy to find and that's what they said would work, so that's what we're using. And you take the wire frame and I showed you how I made these in another video. This is just the old um, tomato cage wire. As I understand it, you don't really want this, you know, the cooking part, to touch the bag. Uh, you want as much air space around whatever you're using for cooking as possible. And then hopefully your jar stays up or your cooking vessel or your pot or whatever it is, you want to make sure that you've got a good solid base for it and then fill the space around the jar with air. And there it is and it's set to cook. You can basically put whatever you want in that jar, but you're going to put something that's really good for, like, something you put in a crock pot. But we're going to find out if these things actually work in a later video. So make sure you visit the link at the end of this video if you're not already there and see what happened when we compared side by side multiple solar cookers on the same day to see what happens and which one's best. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It might take an hour, an hour and a half the first time you do it, but if you get free cooking out of it, it's probably worth the hour, the hour and a half to invest into trying it out. So thanks for watching this video, and make sure you check out the next one where we're going to show you how this thing actually works and if it actually cooks something. And you just take the cooking vessel and you put it inside. Here's the foil pretty good when I was putting that in there. Um, and I also think I just cut my lip <laughs> on the metal. Be careful, the edges are sharp. I end up with a corner that's a little bent up. You can just down it down. One thing you may also might, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like spider web actually hanging off of that board. Oh nice, it has pizza stuff on it. I guess we use this for pizza.